Our view on Xiaomi's devices has been on a bit of a roller coaster ride this past few years, from the super affordable and excellent Xiaomi 9T Pro in 2020, yay, to the ultimately confused Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra from last year. Not so yay. For 2022, the company has dropped its Mi naming convention, and now we have the Xiaomi 12 series, which is led by the 12 Pro. This then feels like a fresh start. It's a flagship handset that focuses on the core pillars of design, powerful hardware, and capable cameras without the gimmicks of some competitors, all wrapped into a package that sits well under a four-figure asking price. So is the Xiaomi 12 Pro a return to pure class or one to pass? I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and this is our review. And if you do like it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. Flip the Xiaomi 12 Pro over and its design could easily be called unassuming. This isn't a handset that's trying to grab your attention through excess flair. Instead, it's all about subtlety. We think the various choices really pay off too. The way its soft touch rear panel resists almost all fingerprinting is great, so it continues to look smooth and clear as if brand new. Combined with this matte grey colour, it's a stylish and classy finish. The light touch to branding continues down the delicate route, with the Xiaomi logos just a small reflective cutout in the rear panel. The camera enclosure too, while it certainly protrudes, doesn't become an excessive distraction because it's dressed in a darker finish that helps to soften the presence of those dark circle lenses. Beauty is in the details though, and there's lots here to like like the fine lines separating the sections on the camera housing, or the way the speaker grills have been designed where the small holes gradually increase in size to create a slit shape, or how the antenna band on the top and bottom edges are symmetrical. There's an attention to detail here that's impossible to ignore. It's a stunning looking phone, but it is big though, and quite heavy, so definitely not one that's a comfortable one-handed device. Moving on to talk displays, and the 12 Pro is the largest in the series. It features a 6.73 inch OLED display. For a lot of buyers, having this large bright display will be a key reason to choose it over, say, the smaller regular Xiaomi 12. And it's a really lovely display too, with lots of eye-catching features that tick all the flagship boxes, from its 120Hz adaptive refresh rate to ultra-bright 1500 nits peak brightness. The panel is mildly curved to the edges, but doesn't result in it suffering from any phantom touches, as the software is smart enough to negate accidental palm touches to the edge. It's a gentle curve that aids the phone's form factor and visual appeal, helping to hide the side bezel a little, while avoiding the excessive distortion that you sometimes get with curved screens. Now we've seen some devices in recent years deliver strong specs in terms of display, but then don't deliver when the brightness is low. Things like the OnePlus 9 Pro spring to mind. The Xiaomi, however, is a masterclass by comparison. It handles rich dark content deftly while offering ultra bright whites too. That it's certified for both Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus is no surprise then, given how well it's able to handle such wideband contrast and color. One of the great things is if it doesn't look the way you want it to, there's plenty here that you can tweak. There's lots to choose from here. You can select from original P3 or sRGB color gamuts, choose vivid, saturated, original or custom color schemes, even tweak individual red, green and blue bands or adjust the hue, the saturation, contrast and the gamma. It's like digging into Photoshop settings as there's so much you can tweak here. Moving away from displays and into performance and battery, and this was one of the very first phones to launch in 2022 with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. It's clear then that this is all about delivering on its promise of top tier hardware. Qualcomm's hardware certainly has the goods when it comes to delivering effortless performance. So whether you're going for high-end gaming, opening dozens of apps, or scrolling through your many feeds, this device never misses a beat. Indeed, we found it to be more stable than even Samsung's Galaxy S22 Ultra. But with such power comes compromise. The pairing of the 8 Gen 1 in this chassis causes some heat issues. Not that the handset becomes boiling hot, but you can feel its warmth after certain use cases. When we tested it, for instance, that was Strava tracking or when using the Zwift companion app for an hour. Warmth means hard work is afoot, which in turn affects battery life. Which is the point when we arrive at the Xiaomi 12 Pro's biggest hurdle. It just doesn't seem to last that long. Indeed, in our use over more than a week as a primary device, it struggled to confidently get us all the way through a working day, which is far from ideal and far from the norm. We think a larger capacity would be better here, because anything sub 5000 milliamp hours 
is a bit of a surprise, really. How long lasting are we talking? Well, typically 12 to 14 hours is going to take this device into the red zone. Many days we'd get to bed with 3% remaining after 16 hours of use. That's with some quite heavy use as we've mentioned, so you may find yourself reaching for the charger quite often. That said, on the flip side, the 12 Pro has super fast 120 watt charging available for extra quick reducing. Five minutes plugged into the 120 watt charger is enough to get you through the rest of the day no problem. There's even a decent 50 watt wireless charge function. Now Xiaomi devices are typically very long lasting though, because the MUI software will do its utmost to squeeze apps from having free reign and eating all your battery juice. That's just less the case with the 12 series it seems, so if you're looking for better longevity per charge and less battery anxiety as a result, that's where the Oppo Find X5 Pro wins out in our view. Now in terms of software, we often malign Xiaomi's MUI platform for its stifling of notifications. MUI 13, however, seems somewhat freer in its capacity to permit apps to function as they wish. Sure, there's still some delays, but generally speaking, the software doesn't seem to have such a wall up this time around. Furthermore, from an aesthetic point of view, it's very good looking with fluid functionality and themes that match the subtle nature of the handset's design. There's a lot of deep dive stuff you can get into, which might make it a bit confusing for some, but it makes the handset all the more customizable. Now, last but not least, let's move on to the cameras. And this is the final piece of the Xiaomi 12 Pro puzzle. Its rear camera arrangement houses three lenses, and all of them are useful, covering the standard wide lens and ultra wide alongside a two times optical zoom, and each of them paired with a 50 megapixel sensor. It's a refreshing approach with so many phone makers seem to dash towards using gimmicky minor resolution cameras. Even the previous Xiaomi Mi 11 opted for a tele macro for close up shooting, which was fun, but not really all that useful. So it's great to see Xiaomi leaning more towards a practical approach here. And the trio of cameras do a great job in remaining largely consistent when it comes to color balance, which is difficult to achieve and something other makers such as OnePlus often fall short in. So simply pointing and shooting will yield great results, even if you don't consider yourself a master photographer. There's optical image stabilization on the main lens too, which makes night mode easier to use in delivering sharp, longer exposures, creating almost hyper real nighttime scenes. The stabilization system is one of the reasons the main optic is so large. Plus the sensor is larger than your average. It's the Sony IMX 707. And that explains why the quality is so good, even when zooming in and cropping into your results. And that's been a universal result we've found. Whether shooting in good light, tricky light or low light, the 12 Pro has rarely failed to impress. It's a cracking mix of cameras and our main complaint really is that the optical zoom should be just more than two times. A three times would in our view be a better pairing and would align it more with say an iPhone 13 Pro Max in that regard. Overall then, the Xiaomi 12 Pro is a masterclass in excellent screen performance and subtle design. Its unassuming visuals hide a powerful performance within while its cameras are gimmick free and great across the board. The battery life is knocking on the door of unacceptable really, which is the one big question mark over this product. Yes, super fast charging goes some way into negating this, but doesn't offset our anxiety completely. So we're still on that Xiaomi roller coaster. The Xiaomi 12 Pro's high peaks are joined with some troughs that might prevent you from buying another Xiaomi phone in the future. There are moments of pure class though, that's for sure. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. If you want to get hold of me on there, you can do, or use the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the 12 Pro. If you did like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.